What's up guys, Scotty Moe here from Sega Addicts with Tom Folk of The Behemoth and we're going to be talking about uh, Castle Crashers and a little bit of Bottom Block Theater. So thanks so much for taking the second out of your day Tom to talk. Um, so I guess first of all, fans of old school Sega games uh, have loved Castle Crashers because it's kind of reminiscent of like Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Double Dragon. Um, was there a certain game that you guys like really found inspiration from or just like the brawler genre in general? Yeah, it's really the, the genre in general has lots of bits and pieces. Like, the, the first level has bits of Golden Axe with, like, people, you know, running and being attacked. Right. Uh, you know, Fighting for the Princess has some elements from the ending of Double Dragon. Okay. Uh, okay. Guardian Heroes is a Saturn game by Treasure that's yeah. also a big... Like, everything by Treasure's always been a big inspiration for me. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Okay, awesome, yeah. That's cool that you mentioned Guardian Heroes, because a lot of people didn't even know that existed until it got re-released. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um, and a lot of people were really surprised when you announced Battle Block Theater because everyone was, with just the success of Castle Crashers, everyone was kind of expecting Castle Crashers 2. Um, what made you decide to go for a platform puzzler game instead? Well, uh, so far we've had a no sequels policy, which, you know, we, one thing we say is if we had made a sequel to Alien Hominid, we wouldn't have made Castle Crashers, so we try to keep making different things. Uh, as far as it being like a puzzle platformer, uh, part of it was ever since we made PDA games with Alien Hominid, which right. is like a mini game in Alien Hominid, we've always wanted to expand on that concept. And even Castle Crashers had started originally as like a platformer and then became a brawler. Huh. So it was always sort of just that was like the the thing that was bubbling close to the surface the whole time. Okay, okay. So you said it started as a platformer. Did that? Did you like take that and turn it into Battle Block, sort of? Or no, I did really none of that carried over. That was like a real early. It didn't really get very far. It was basically just like it was originally going to be the Knights platforming, and then just quickly, which is like now let's do. Yeah. We need more deer with diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Um, so, also though, uh, games like Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron, Disney's Castle Illusion, uh, and you know, even of course more obviously Sonic the Hedgehog, were all pretty innovative uh, and inventive platformers. Is there a certain platformer game you feel best represents that genre? Yeah, I've never really had like a favorite platformer. Like Gunstar Heroes is considered more of a run and gun, but as right. far as if, if, if you consider Gunstar Heroes a platformer, that is my favorite of all time. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, mostly the run and guns were always my favorites versus like the hop and bop. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Stuff like that. Some more like contra kind of stuff almost. Yeah, yeah. And like I like Gunstar Heroes, um, you know, Metal Slug on Neo Geo. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was like a reasonable Sonic fan, and I like Bonk's Adventure on Turbo oh. Graphics. That yeah. game is ludicrously difficult. Yeah. Yeah, but if you hit the turbo button, you can do like that infinite spin thing. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, so I did like all those. I was never like a big Mario fan okay. as a kid, um, even though I really liked the new Mario game, the three D World one. Yeah. But, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Um, okay, so many indie games today focus on gameplay and kind of the fun factor and just ignore a story altogether. Battle Block somehow combined both a compelling story and uh, amazing addictive gameplay. Which came first with that? Did you guys have a story first or did you decide on the gameplay first? Or? Battle Block was gameplay first and then yeah, story evolved up around it. Yeah. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, although truth be told, it could be the most boring story in the world, and since you have Will Stamper, it would still be amazing. Um, how did you guys decide to cast him, or was there no other option? Yeah, it was never... Dan, you know, basically Will's real funny, and, yeah. and Dan just asked him to, to do it. I don't think there was ever any second choice or anything. It just sort of fell into place that way. It was perfect, perfect fit. Awesome, awesome. That's awesome. Um, so you guys actually just announced Game 4. You said it's coming out to the Xbox One. Is it exclusive to Xbox One? I guess all that's up in the air right now. Yeah, nothing's, nothing's really definite or... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is there anything you can tell us, like, what genre you're going to go into? I mean, we, can we assume it's not going to be a sequel then? Something brand new? Yeah, I'd say not a sequel, but everything else is a mystery. Nice. Good, good. Leave, our, leave us to our own devices with that. Um, and lastly, how many pairs of pants should the average gamer wear when playing the Steam version of Battle Block Theater? I'd say, uh, like three to four is probably fine, and, uh, at least two buckles, and, uh, and at least, uh, yeah, three underpants, I guess would be good. Sounds good. And, uh, so a couple quick fire here. What's your favorite Goosebumps book? Yeah, I haven't read any of them. That means all of them? Lady Gaga or Hatsune Miku? I haven't heard Hatsune, but probably Hatsune. Uh, favorite Sega game? Shinobi. Okay, nice. Even over Gunstar Heroes? Oh, well, okay, well, it's a game on Genesis, then Gunstar Heroes. Oh, you were sticking with Bi just... I was thinking by Sega. Both good choices, I'd say. But yeah, Gunstar Heroes is favorite Genesis game. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Rad or gnarly? Rad. 
Uh, Dragula or Tub Thumpin? Dragula. Uh, Nicolas Cage or Keanu Reeves? It's Cage. And lastly, who would win in a fight, Sonic the Hedgehog or Screech from Saved by the Bell? Maybe Screech. Might, might have enough of that rage. Raging. He lost that boxing match though, right? Did, did he do that Sonic I, boxing at one point? He... Oh. I have no idea. Yeah. Do you know who that was against? I don't remember. It wasn't Sonic the Hedgehog though. No. No. Maybe Screech could win though. Oh my gosh, he's going for the underdog with that one. Well thanks again Tom for speaking and talking to us. And guys be sure to check out Battle Block. Be sure to check out more updates for Game 4. And this is Scotty Mo from Sega Addicts saying see ya.